We are here to review and react to the final Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker trailer. What's going on, guys? This is Vibe. Darth Flex. Joe Taro. And we are here to review and react to the final Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker trailer. We're going to do the good, the bad, the ugly. We're doing it remote, Skype wise, but you guys already know. You see this in my head? You know that I'm not amused. All right. The good. We're, we're getting more Star Wars, but it's, 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 it, it was visually, it was nice. It, it's hard because. It is hard. I, I didn't see anything really bad. It's just I, I couldn't find anything good in the sense of the, the the good is very difficult to come up with right now. Actually, honestly, really, the yeah, I mean the good, honestly, from this trailer is that it seems hopefully that we're not you know teased like like the last Jedi, but it seems that there's going to be a quite a massive uh, space battle or at least starship battle. Uh, in akin to the last of uh, the return of the Jedi basically Fighters coming in um it's gonna be a, an emotional roller coaster pretty much all I have which is when it comes to that I'm gonna so be it's gonna be emotional yeah because it's gonna be the allegedly last movie so okay. it looks like we're gonna have a, another visually stunning movie. The trailer was so cinematic and like I'm just like look at how good this looks it was pretty to look at um, it was pretty to listen to I'm just like yes the visuals and the set pieces the cinematography I mean I don't care how the story is it's still gonna look it, I know for a fact at least when I sit and watch this movie I'm gonna be looking at something a piece of art and that's what I what I what I'm excited about how vague everything was honestly um, in I, but I mean, I guess it's not bad because mm -hmm. I'm sure they do that for a purpose. Especially, well, I mean, but all the trailers have been vague. None of the trailers really. No, talk I know, anything. but a lot of art is in the eye of the beholder. It is open to interpretation because yeah. they want you to interpret things. Because art should be a, a expression of the things around you, so people will express it differently. For me, it was very vague because there's so many things that I want to happen, and my imagination is going to many different places. I wish it'd be a little bit more clear cut, so I wouldn't be so anxious. But I guess that's good because building anxiety to watch the movie it was C-3PO. We have. So many people think that he's gonna die. Taking one last look, sir, at my friends. I think that he's being rewired and having his memory wiped and they're gonna use him to infiltrate the First Order. That's why his eyes turn red in that other trailer, maybe. I don't know. Right. I'm, I'm just throwing an idea out there, but see, that's what it is. It's super right. vague. I hope Poe and, and, and Finn have a beautiful relationship and it's, <laughs> that's gay space. <laughs> you know, I'm only once again seeing this for the um the history of the star wars franchise i'm right. seeing this because um i have been a fan i haven't been a, a fanatic but i've been a fan of this the um the franchise for a very long time since day one um but i literally am and I'm, I'm only seeing this because of the 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 essence of what the of what star wars is and seeing as how this is going to be the last and final movie i just want to show my appreciation to the the you know the, the 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 creators of this entire franchise i i just feel like um again it's going to be very emotional and and it, as far as and you know and, and as far as me being dis like disappointed the only reason why i said that is because i do kind of feel like <laughs> the last two movies <laughs> were not were not what i thought they were going to be 
<laughs> so, uh, I'm just looking. For, I'm just looking forward to. The, I'm just looking forward. To, I'm just looking forward to the emotional aspect of the of the movie. Other than that, that's about it. This trailer did not spark any more interest than the very limited interest that I have. Uh, so it, that's the. <laughs> So that's the bad for me is that even though it was a stunningly it was stunning to to watch and it was really pretty, I still don't care. I'm you know I still was like okay sure I'm gonna watch it. Kind of like it reminds me of the Harry Potter movies. I never really was interested in Harry Potter, but because I watched the first couple of them, I said as a chore, fine, I'll keep going to eat to watch every one of them just to see how the story plays out. But not because I actually cared about the narrative or the characters, just because I just felt committed to the story and seeing it play out. With The Rise of Skywalker, I'm just watching it because I want to see how the story plays out, but not because I have any inherent need to watch it or any, any real fandom for that. The ugly. The ugly. <laughs> the... Ugly. That's very tough. Because uh, really, all we got is visuals. Visually, there was nothing ugly about right. this trailer. I, 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 honestly, no. Yes, I, I have no ugly. If we're if we're judging just the trailer itself, right. it all it all looked fan fucking tastic. It looked amazing. I don't have an ugly. This trailer <laughs> officially made me realize that I don't think I'm a Star Wars fan anymore. Now to say that this this trailer was it was terrible or that it did anything, but because my lack of enthusiasm and the fact that I felt nothing and no real interest and no real, I was just like, oh, this is pretty, you know. I was I was I was very dismissive of, of the trailer. I've come to the conclusion that I may not be a Star Wars fan anymore, and that's what the ugly is for me is that my enjoyment in this saga might actually be dead and gone. So, and it it, it as much as I complain about the Last Jedi, I. I I love the Star Wars. I love the brand. I love the the cartoons. I love the animation. I love the lore. I love the the audiobooks. So this is huge for me that, that for me to really think come to really come to this conclusion. And it's sad because Star Wars is is what really made me want to be a filmmaker, you know. So the fact that I'm losing interest in the very thing that that made me want to do to be in digital media that led to me forming my studio that led to me even to this podcast. My life is a lie. You know, it's it's uh, it's unfortunate. So <laughs> listen, I'm trying to be heartfelt here and and like deep, and you're you're being a, uh, yourself. So you know what? With that being said, thanks for tuning in to Geek Bros. Uh, just reviewing. We will see first. you at Star Wars convention in San Diego, folks. Yeah, whatever. Hey, and with that being said, thanks for tuning in to Geek Bros. Uh, don't forget, we have a podcast. Keep on the Geek Bros streaming every Wednesday. We be geekspc.com. Uh, we have some. You can check us out on uh, Geek Bros at a zero at Yahoo. Dot com email us there uh, geek bros at a zero twitter and instagram i don't know what you're doing but uh i'm vibe <laughs> darth flex joe taro jesus christ <laughs> <laughs> and, and that is it for star wars uh the rise of skywalker final trailer reaction slash review geeking out still sounds no that's the wrong word looks geeking out still looks this good and we love you 3000 geek bros You remember when we were waiting in line for those like posters, those giveaways, and that one kid walked in and said hi to everybody? <laughs> Do you think he listens to this podcast? I wonder. Or this. <laughs> if you, hey, kid, if you listen to this podcast, please email us geekbros with a zero at yahoo.com so we know that you're watching. Dark Flex hey, wants to uh, apologize. Actually, no. Like, I don't know you, and I'm sure you're a nice guy, but right here, buddy. Right here. <laughs>